Blessings, everyone. Hello, loves. This is Kalina. And all of my videos are always in perfect time. <laughs> um, this is being recorded on the 7th of March. And um, I know a lot of you have been asking where the March video is um, because it's usually have them. I try to have them out the first few days. But um, I have been um, quite busy, but also going through some transformation of my own. So just know that um, when the videos come, it's always perfect time. So I just want to talk about March a little bit here and then we're going to do light language for you to help you out because a lot of you are feeling, I'm going to be feeling if you're not already, some massive energy clearing. Okay, massive karmic clearing energies are coming up this month. Um, there's like soul family clearing that is happening and it's happening on a very large, like a mass scale. So if you're not feeling it, then fantastic. You will eventually feel it at another time. Um, I'm having my own kind of activations. They're, they're like uh, electrical activations I've been going through and I'll, I'll explain it in a little bit. But uh, this month, there's these energies that are really, I talked about this in my newsletter, okay, you guys? If you haven't signed up for it, please go sign up for it on my website because there's information in there I don't release anywhere else. My website is killinamalnar.com, okay? K-E-L, not K-A, because a lot of you look for me under K-A and you can't find me. So go sign up for that. You get that and you get um, meditation or uh, sometimes I have, I, I've had meditations and stuff the last uh, few months on there as well for you. Um, so I talked about how, and I even talked about, I think in January maybe, <laughs> how I seen and feel for the spring. I said March was going to continue like this, these heavy energies, this, um, almost like disruptive feelings within yourself because you're having to um, release the subconscious stuff that's going on. You've got to release the layers that are within you and it's really going to be pushing to come up. And I had said in my newsletter, it's like a, like a deep dive this month to really get into the things that you have not wanted to look at yet and have them come up, um, have them emerge. And um, I call it res um, dissolve to, re to resolve. So have them come up so you can dissolve them and resolve and move forward in the process to step more into your true energy essence of who you are, not who you um, uh, think you are. Yes, not who your ego thinks you are. So during this time, you're going to go through this like energy clearing. You're you're going to like feel like a very sensitive. Make sure you can get yourself into. Um, a, a space where you feel like you're in peace. We're in a peaceful environment because you're going to be very sensitive. You're going to go through some emotions. There's going to be like emotions coming up to let go. Things that you really have got to focus on forgiving yourself for because remember when you forgive yourself, you're forgiving all others and you are all others. Okay, so allow everything to come up. Allow yourself to feel it. It's okay. You're human. You need to feel it and then let it go, okay? Forgive yourself through the heart, release it, let it go. Um, it's all good, this is moving us forward. This is moving us into that, um, the bright, I don't like to talk about the future because the future is now, but the bright future that you want to have, this is how it's being created and it's gotta happen through you. So, um, uh, some of the things you want to definitely do is really raise your vibrations when this stuff, you know, you're going to go through your, your clearing and stuff, but there's going to be simple things to raise your vibrations. It's getting out on Mother Earth. You can clear and give all this stuff to Mother Earth when you're out there too. She helps you heal. Um, so get out on Mother Earth and there's a hair right in my face. I <laughs> just keep trying to move it. Um, she helps you heal when you're on her. You can give everything to her. You can give everything to God. Um, it's an easy way to resolve some of these things, get into water, get into the water on the earth if you can, it's really healing. Work with your crystals, 
um, be creative at this time if you like any of the arts and I don't mean just art art I mean like the the creative arts are healing arts they're they're um, uh, dancing it's um, poetry it's writing do those things because what happens is you you tune in and you do that stuff and many times the body just takes over your inner being takes over and things just happen and you let go of all of the outside world so it's a good thing to do that um, another thing is well, like I have here in front of me my um, <laughs> my rose vibe stuff that I, I like to put in my water. And this is raises your vibrations too. On this, um, my friend uh, Nico, um, uh, he, this is part of his work. He actually, I'll put that back down there because I put it in my water. You can put it in food and stuff too, but it raises your vibration because the rose is the highest, um, it has the highest frequency. Um, I think it's up to 320 megahertz. Don't quote me. It might be more. I'm not positive. All I know is the rose, the vibration of the rose is like really massive and it's very sacred and it has healing energy, raises your vibrations. And I had a download on the rose um, when I was sitting with Nico and William one day and all this information came in. So you know, something like this is good, great to put in your water. Actually, he, I, I'll put it on the bottom of my, um, uh, in the YouTube description thing at the bottom because he gave me a coupon code that anybody that I know can use if they're friends with me. And um, so I will put that on the description, um, not where the video credits run, but in YouTube so that if you want to order some for yourself, I think he's only shipping in the USA, so don't try and get it if you're outside the USA. But um, he gives he's giving a discount for it. He he gave it. He said, "I'll discount your friends." I'm like, okay. So stuff like that. Um, eating high vibrational foods. You know, feed the cells, feed the soul. Foods that are alive. Um, foods that really work for you. Um, the other stuff that for March has really come up, and I've talked about this, I think, in January, is that mother is going to shake into awaken some more, not just in people, but she's going to be really doing stuff on Gaia this year that's really going to, um, it's going to create, it's going to make some corrections, is what I'm hearing, in the Earth's atmosphere um, through the biomagnetic fields and she she does her own work but we also have to make sure that we um, assist her in all of the ways that we know how as well as light workers way showers um, those of you that do grid activations light language go out and sing her um, and keep your vibration up because when we keep our vibration up, it helps her as well. Okay, so make sure that um, you're out there helping Gaia. Also clean her up. I've talked about this for many years. If you're out, um, take a plastic bag with you if you're hiking or if you're out at a park or something. And I know some of you take gloves with you and you, you pick up trash that people that are um, not so kind have left behind <laughs> they're just not conscious of what they're doing so um, not to judge them but um, we have to remember what if somebody left trash on top of us she is the same thing we are she's a living breathing consciousness so we really have to make sure to to help her out and um, keep her clean um, the other thing I have and I talked about this in the um, uh, newsletter as well is that relationship changes there because I just wrote an article on it too it's on my website about the 5d relationship the the new template for the new earth relationship relationships are really starting to change and the relationship with yourself is changing that inner relationship with you is changing so when that's happening the the relationship with others is going to change as well so if you're um, clearing more of yourself and you're finding more of your truth, sometimes you're not going to harmonize with other people anymore. It's not going to feel like there's a balance. And um, you cannot go backwards. You're going to move forward. So there's going to be those of you that are going to um, 
this connect again, I've talked about this all the time, but this is different because the relationships are changing and moving forward in a different way. You're going to disconnect still with people that just aren't at your vibration. But you're going to disconnect with people that they don't match your vibration, but they don't match your truth. Okay. It doesn't feel right. And there's going to be people that are going to leave situations, friendships, even um, work because, you know, you don't, connect with the people you work with anymore. I mean, it can get that intense. And um, there's also those that are going to go the other way that are in relationships that are going to um, deepen their love um, because they are doing the work and they're seeing the truth of why they're doing this work. And um, that's you know, part of the article that I wrote as well. And a lot of you are going to experience this. So some of you are going to get that push and that, just that knowing and that feeling that this person isn't resonating with me anymore. Um, you know, and even it could be a partner you've been married to or a relationship you've been in and it doesn't just, it doesn't work anymore and that's okay. But we have to honor it because it's shown us things about ourselves that we have to um, see to help release, but also to move forward in our life from, and it's always um, good. So always have gratitude for the person that you've had a relationship with in case you are departing from it. And for those of you that are having the relationships that are deepening, how wonderful for you. That's a lot of joy and, and it will raise the vibration and it helps create that new template because the new relationships are about a sense of freedom. And you can read more about that in the newsletter. I'm not going to go into that here. Read, actually read it in the, um, the article that I wrote because it, it talks, it goes in a little bit more in depth in it. And there will be more on that. I'm talking about that on Patreon. William and I talk about that on Patreon in the, in the Twin Ray videos. We really touch on that and the new relationship and what's going to be coming. We're going to talk about the new relationship soon. Um, so true love, true love for yourself that true, deep, unconditional love for yourself, which is your God self, your goddess self. We really, you know, I want to say halfway, maybe a little more than halfway through the month, you're going to start really feeling the love for yourself more. Um, this month also, and this is something I'm going to, on Patreon, I've got a goddess circle on there. So the new moon this month is on the 13th. And the 13th, as many of you know, because I always talk about it, is the day of the goddess. It's the day we honor the goddess, the 13th. And um, so we have a new moon that day, which for me, when I tuned in this month, of course, you know that I'm very connected to Venus, <laughs> Aphrodite, Mary Magdalene, you know, and the mothers, I am very, very much Venus stepped forward when I tuned in and um, showed me that she is going to be prevalent this month again. That's last year she was very, very big this year um she's still there um but she tends to not like make herself known so much i want to say to certain people that uh, don't agree that she's as big an energy as she is um but she's also pushing that there's what she showed me she showed me gold coins so uh, to me that means you know it's about love it's about self-love with venus it's also about abundance and um so creating your abundance uh continuing to focus on that and i know you're going to be like oh it's hard to do this when i'm doing all this releasing or i'm in bed and i can't get out of bed and i'm having a hard time this month but you will okay get through those other things so that you can move into this next step okay and it's just it's going to flow okay so towards the end of the month the um one thing i want to talk about the it's going to flow yes so towards the end of the month I, i'm seeing more of like ease happening but really prioritize your because i'm getting a metatron coming in so really prioritize your um your your ideas your creativeness your the things that you want to do that are your passion, okay? Really allow your passion to come forward. What is it that you really want to do? What is it that you absolutely love? You know, I've always said this since you were a child, 
that um, you disappeared from the rest of the world when you were doing that thing, tune into that because many times that's your passion and that's what you're here to do in some way. And you can create your own business with that. Um, and that's, that's, a, uh, that's one of the retreats I'll be doing this summer for women, helping you with that. Um, oh, which reminds me, I have a retreat in April. <laughs> I always forget to talk about these things, but I have a retreat in April for learning how to channel and really connecting with your psychic abilities and all kinds of stuff. Uh, goddess retreat in April the 9th and 10th here in Sedona. I put it up and in less than 24 hours, it was half sold out, Or, but there's, there's, um, I think there's two spots left available and it's two full days with me <laughs> with a vegan and gluten-free lunch I will provide for you. Um, so just know that that's two full days that you get with me. And it's a very low price. People think prices are expensive at my retreats, but if you go to other retreats, like what I do, you're going to pay a thousand dollars or more. So just when you look at it, I don't want, I don't want any, um, lashes back at me about the price because uh, it just means that you're creating a lack for yourself when you do that. So be careful how you think. Um, so prioritize yourself, prioritize your passion, prioritize, you know, this month because, and start really focusing on your passion and what you want to do because in the next coming months, it's really create time, create, create, create. I've been saying that since January, but the energy is shifting is what I'm seeing. And it's really towards the end of March, it starts to ease more and into April. They keep showing me laughing Buddha for April. So to me, that means joy. Um, but it also means, you know, stay in a, stay in joy, laugh at the things that we used to, um, look at and be like, Oh, you can't do that. You know, the, the kind of things you know, like when you're in the 3d mindset, um, laugh at those things now and go, oh, I could do anything. But, oh, that's silly that I shouldn't do that or can't do that. Um, really take yourself to that unlimited potential um, awareness because you are, because you are the divine God, goddess within this body. It's who you are. You are never separate from God. God is within you. Your physical vessel holds your God self in you. And coming here, you're here to experience everything you can as God in one of these 8 billion vessels that are walking on the earth. Everyone's experiencing it in a different way so that source learns itself. So, um, yeah, focus on your passion. Laugh at yourself at all the things you used to think. <laughs> you know, that's not possible or this. And, and move forward with trying. And if something doesn't work, you're not a failure, okay? I really, really want to express this because with my clients that I work with, everybody is going through that not good enough piece. I'm not good enough or I was raised that way or something, or they've had some kind of trauma or experience where it made them feel not good enough. And I wanna say, you're all good enough, okay? Do not let something that happened to you in the past um, to hold you or prevent you from what you want to do now. That's one of the things that I do when I go into my clients, I get into their subconscious and we find the root of it where it started so I can help them pluck it and we heal it in those sessions. It's really, really important not to hold on to that energy of not being good enough because every single one of you are, you're all love. You're all unlimited potential, you're all unlimited power, and you're all unlimited wisdom, always, 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 and it's all here, okay? All right, and you can do it. <laughs> I'm the cosmic cheerleader. You can do it. Um, so also um, the energy, what I'm really getting, um, the, uh, and I did touch on that in one of, I don't remember if it was February or I think maybe the March newsletter, is there still hidden things coming up? Gaia is really revealing. I mean, it is a year of revealing things from your subconscious, because I said in January, this is about really clearing the subconscious this year. But when you're doing that, it's revealing things. It's revealing the truth. And so 
It's assisting Gaia to reveal the truth and Gaia is revealing the truth. And as it's revealing that way, it's in revealing, like revealing within people, you're going to find not only these hidden things within yourself that have to come up to be cleared, but you're going to see, for those of you that still watch TV, <laughs> you're going to see stuff that comes up that, um, I want to say, don't let it shock you because it's been a game how, um, control has tried to take over the human mind. And so don't let it shock you when that stuff comes up. Just go, oh, part of the game and laugh at it instead of getting mad at it. Don't hold fear and don't hold anger towards it. Laugh and be in joy and go, ha, I see what's going on and take control of your own life. Okay. So also these things are hidden within you. They're going to come up within you. So, and it doesn't necessarily um, mean that you did something um, that you would consider bad because remember there's no there's no bad or good or anything on this earth everything is an experience just re dissolve to resolve yeah <laughs> my higher self pops in just resolve to dissolve let it go and forgive yourself and um, neutralize everything really bring everything into love because love is power you know power is in love it's not the love of power. It's the power in love that's important. And I talked about this a couple years ago. So uh, really step into that. I may have to talk about that again because there's a lot of you that are just awakening. But it's not, the, it's not the love of power that gets us anywhere. It is the power that is in love. And love is such a high vibration. And 